darlings, it's mummy, Sybil Brunchen, and I'm coming to you live from Milwaukee, and I'm coming to you from the Loyalty Building, which was built in 1886, uh, right here in the heart of Milwaukee, and um, there's all sorts of wonderful, I'm, I'm down in one of the, the many parts of the lobby area, and the and the under lobby. Um, here's old photographs. They've certainly preserved their history. Here's uh, scenes from the offices with the gas lights and electric lights. And here's the board um, of the bank that was in here. And all. Of, and look at this wonderful. But look at the details, darling. I'm, I'm going to show you the, the tile floor from the 1880s. Um, granite work everywhere. Granite and marble. Interior details. So much of the building is still intact. Look at the woodwork everywhere. Um, look at this bronze staircase. Don't look too closely because I'm going to show you more of it in just a second. Uh, look at this detail. Isn't that extraordinary? Beautiful deal, t detail. This is very much of the arts and crafts movement. Um, you can see the, the basket weave there in the bronze work and then uh, slight references to Art Nouveau on its way just, just around the corner uh, in the late 1880s into the 1890s. Look at this. Look, look, look. All of this wonderful, strange, like interior windows, old office grill work. Look at the grill work there. It goes on and on. Here's an area where they keep the hotel carts. They've got original doors, gilding everywhere, everywhere you look. Um, but this is what I want you to see. <laughs> this is truly amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Look, 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 look. The interior atrium with the original skylight up there. Isn't that amazing? This is all interior. So the building had uh, ventilation and uh, there's meeting rooms here. There's still all sorts of, there's the old elevator shaft right there and there. Um, it photographs all over the place. This is the bronze staircase uh, that goes up and up and up and up and up, floor by floor. Uh, this is all bronze work. Look at this. This is not carved wood. This is bronze. And these finials are copper. And one of the things that was one of the stories, and they have many stories. Look at the old photographs from around this area. Um, one of the wonderful stories, I'm going up the stairs right now. I know I'm jiggling. I'm sorry. Um, is that during World War I, when they were trying to, uh, during the wars, they were trying to uh, salvage bronze and copper for the war effort. Look, there's staircases in different places, uh, old office areas. Um, this is the business center was someone's office in the old days. Look at this beautiful. They were they were um, salvaging copper and bronze from hotels and uh, were smelting it down for the war. Look at the banister. Just beautiful. Mummy would love to slide down that, but I should fall to my death. Um, anyway, these copper finials, the, the owner of the building was so horrified that they might take away the copper finials. And there's multiple ones all over the place that he painted them black and made them look like wood so that they wouldn't be taken by the War Department and smelted down for armaments. Um, I'm already out of breath. Uh, I, but I want you to see how beautiful this all is. Isn't this just amazing? Beautiful detail everywhere. I wish you guys could. There's the interior halls for the hotels. There's a, a, one of the hotel maids is cleaning and she's going, but you can see, and the circular, the, see, you see the portholes? Those aren't windows. Those are the early ventilation system. Those are open and we're hooked up to a fan system so that the heat, the hot air inside here would be sucked up and out and air would be circulated back in the early uh, 1900s, 18, late 1800s, early 1900s, and that was their attempt at air conditioning. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness, all those bustles and corsets and, and, and everything and sweating to death underneath it. And of course, the bustles and corsets on the men, um, that's a whole different issue. All right, well, anyway, I want you to see this beautiful, beautiful hotel. This is now the Hilton Garden Inn in the heart of Milwaukee. And I just couldn't uh, be more impressed with how beautiful the hotel is. It is breathtaking. Uh, look at the floors. You can see all of the, it's a bit like the Overlook Hotel, isn't it? In, in, the, in the Shining. Okay, I hope Jack Nicholson isn't staying here. Anyway, when, if you come here for a visit, whether you stay or whether you're just visiting, look, here's the ventilation article. See ventilation. And here's how it was heated. And then over here, there's 
Oh, oh, an article on the flooring. Look at that. And they've got examples of the tile and all the details. Here's the stairways and the detail and the information about the finials. Look at the nice multiple finials. And look, see, mummy was trying to walk you around. What's this over here? Ah, the safes. Oh, there's actual safes still here from the Federal Reserve Bank that was here in Milwaukee. And um, how it was lit. Look, they because electricity was new, they had gas and electric lighting. So if the electricity went out, they still had gas lights hooked up to the same fixtures. Um, and here's more. Look at the, a whole article on the skylight. Beautiful. And of course, the glass is beginning to turn lavender because there's manganese in it. Um, and uh, here's a whole uh, little article on Solon Spencer Beeman who was the designer. Um, and speaking of safes, I want you to see this because you won't believe it. Where is it? Is it right here? It's here. Look at that. They still have the original safes in the building. And this, uh, I don't know what's behind there now, but isn't that amazing? Just incredible. Hall's Safe and Lock Company, Cincinnati and Chicago. And look at all the original brushwork on it. Oh my God, it's heartbreaking. It, this, is, this is when people save their history and their heritage. It just makes you feel wonderful, doesn't it? And the hotel looks you know, perfectly normal in these back hallways, although these were all offices and everything's back, back in the 1800s. But now it's become this, this wonderful hotel. And I wanna congratulate Milwaukee on saving so much of its history and keeping so much of its heritage intact and beautiful and, and repurposing it. There's, an, there's a lesson there for all of us, I think. All right, darlings, I'll talk to you later. I love you from Milwaukee. Uh, oh, and yes, I will say hello to Eve Harrington for many of you. All right, goodbye, darlings, goodbye.